Hello and happy Wednesday, everybody. It's officially the last week of February, which is very exciting news because I have a lot of things planned in the month of March. We'll be kicking the month off by hosting Matt and Isaac's 22nd birthday bash this weekend. And not too long after that, I'll be headed off to Las Vegas where we'll watch the Mountain West Basketball Tournament and do probably not much else. I think we'll just try and take it easy while we're down there because you know what they say, what happens in Vegas follows you around for the rest of your life. Wait, no, that, that doesn't sound right. After Vegas, we'll be making stops in Arizona for Rockies spring training and the Grand Canyon. And when we get back, it'll be a much needed spring break, over which I will go to the New Belgium Brewery Tour again, and hopefully see a Walk the Moon concert live in Denver. Okay, now that I've rambled on about March for the second video in a row, let's do some video responses. Matt, I've considered trying to film an entire video in one take to avoid the editing, but I don't think there's any way I can make it all the way through without messing up. So props on that. Also, I thought It's Raining Cats and Dogs was fantastic, and I'm trying to brainstorm some song ideas for you to use later. Hannah, don't worry too much about getting your videos up earlier on my account. I've kind of rearranged my video making schedule so that I should be able to see your videos before I'm filming mine. Well, usually. Also, as soon as you said you had exciting mail, I started singing the Mail Time song in my head. So I was very happy to see that you actually played that clip. God, I miss that show. Katie, you chose Bulgaria! Just in case any of you are wondering where exactly that is, it's right here. Which is almost two full lobster lengths away from Colorado otherwise known as too damn far. I think that was the first time having a map in the background of my videos has actually come in handy. Anyway, in honor of your decision, Katie, I did some research on this strange faraway country. Here's a list of interesting facts I found. Just put my reading glasses on here. Okay. It has the world's largest IMAX 3D cinema. Bulgaria is one of the world's biggest winemakers, producing 200,000 tons per year. Ah, now I see why you chose to go there. Bulgarians invented the first electronic computer, so just in case you were worried they wouldn't have those there, you're covered. The different ethnic and religious groups in Bulgaria live in peaceful coexistence. Okay, I think the internet's definition of the word fact is a little loose. That or Bulgaria has figured out the secret to becoming some kind of social utopia. Bulgarians shake their heads to mean yes and nod to mean no. Have fun getting used to that. Bulgarian yogurt is the best in the world. The country is both the birthplace of the modern condom and the first country to outlaw the use of it. And Bulgaria is the only country in the world where it is completely legal for a llama to hold political office. Okay, I'll come clean. I made those last two facts up. But think of how cool it would be if that llama thing were true. Okay, now, I have completed your challenge, Katie. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to read another list to you, and this one's a little longer. But here it goes. Ideas I've had that Katie did not like. Anytime I've ever suggested we go bowling or play cards against humanity, apples to apples, or clue, saving money by riding in the cockpit of a commercial flight and drinking with the pilots, almost any time I've wanted you to stay up late at all, buying all new stuff every time you move to avoid having to pack, me managing your whole life, any time I quote this is the end, my plan to get high socks tattooed onto my ankles and calves, going to interviews naked, always crying in interviews, that the phrase when you assume you make an ass out of you and me has to be a package deal, my strategy of living as if there's no tomorrow, and you making a music video for your song all about that wheat. I'm sure I missed like a thousand things, but that's all I could come up with. And thanks, Hannah, for your contributions. Okay, time for bonus points. Bonus, bonus, bonus! This week, a bunch of cheesy, greasy bonus points go to cold pizza. Because I just realized that I have some in the fridge. Unfortunately, thanks to Katie's brilliant reward, I have to give one of these pieces to Isaac. Hello, cold pizza.